Well, from Europe versus Central America to a classic old fashioned African ding dong. These two are huge rivals. Kenya, the Shuja Pride against Uganda, the Cranes. This is exciting. Uganda, look to the skies. They seek inspiration from the rugby gods, whilst Kenya behind pay homage to the ball that they so need to deliver the tries for victory. Uganda will be drawing on the memories of the Africa Cup from 2022 when they beat Kenya for only the second time in their great rivalry. It was the first time in 22 years they got the better of the Shuja. And Ian Seaton better have his wits about him because this is going to be a Kenya, fearsome good. contest. And the crowd can be heard as well. There's good Ugandan and Kenyan support here today as Aaron Afoywa gets a high hanging kick onto the Kenyan 10 meter line and Afoyworth is stripped. Worth by black and by green. Kevin Wakesa ready to pack down. Fine. He'll immediately move set back towards the right flank. Three in early. He did so much devastation in there in the opening match against Mexico. And oh my goodness, a shuddering shot right on the cusp of the pass being released. Up is Samuel Asati. And Kenya are off to the left flank. Beautiful handling all the way to the edge. And Amitsa in for the opening score. His second try of the weekend. And it was all about the handling. The fizz balls right in front of the runners in game. Nigel. Etterson might suck just enough room and all the room he needed for an opening score and a misconversion means it's only five but Kenya leading early. They're enjoying themselves in Kenya corner. Anthony Omondi. The man who held well. Kisumu. Sends it up high and asks the Ugandans to rise to the challenge, which they do. High tackle in the challenge on Masanganzira. Oh, just opens up there for a moment for Munyani. A Foywa. Still a Foywa. A Foywa standing. Still a Foywa. He just won't go down. This is incredible. Well, six meters shy. And Uganda pouring through. Snappy hands required. No extra pass required though because the finish from Adrian Casito has the Cranes responding and level with Kenya. Aaron Afoywa, who was almost unstoppable, is unflappable when it comes to a tricky conversion 
It was his break that carved out the opportunity and it's his conversion that edges Uganda into the lead. Brilliant kick off and timed hit as well. Well, Anthony Amondi is appealing to the assistant, but it was just pinpoint perfection. It lingered in the skies and gave the Ugandan chasers all the time they needed. Keep the gap over here. Keep the gap. Here we go. Crouch. Just a mini momentum swing. Fine. In favor of Uganda. Done it. Hold your weight. Hold your weight. I need a gap. Time on. Crouch. Fine. Set. Put it in. Casito, the try scorer. Urge to speed things up. So, Foywe on the wraparound. Arcing into the 15 metre channel. But I might set the up. other try scorer for Kenya. He's there. Pierce again up. Just coming up with the error. As Uganda were beginning to flow. One of the elder statesmen of the team these days, having made his debut back in 2014. Line up straight on. Crouch. Find your hooker. Find the hooker. Fine. Set. Kenya. Back attacking for the first time in some minutes out to the edge they go to their super speedster patrick odongo odongo go go all the way underneath the uprights <laughs> kenya have produced some greats in their time but this young man so early in his career has all the hallmarks of a man who is going to be lighting up the seven stage for years to come Patrick Adongo has his third of the weekend in Dubai and he has Kenya back in the lead Last player of the half, Uganda, have their by black pocket here, picked. By green. But a couple of knock-on springs, a uh, very entertaining first half to a close, and it's Kenya edging it at the moment against Uganda, 12 points to seven. Could do with a victory, having gone down to Germany in underwhelming fashion in their opening match, but they come out with real fire in their bellies here. And they claim that through Timothy Kasiga. Boyway. All the good work going through him at the moment. Off goes Motomu Kazito. Try score against Germany. And now, Adrian Casito, try scorer here, but loose offload and a defensive win for Kenya. Mark here, gentlemen. <laughs> Come in. Take a step off. Step off. 
Come here. Arrow to Floydworth. It's being marshaled around. Now the officials and everyone happy. And we get the line out of the way. Suspended in the sky. Vincent Onyala. And off goes Nigel Pettersson. I might set try number two for him. And it's try number three for Kenya. And a crucial one to kick this second half off. He saw the gap. He took the gap. And he sealed the deal. Under the uprights makes it nice and easy for Anthony Amondi, who made his debut here on the HSBC 7s back in 2021. It was a scoring one as well, so fond memories for Anthony Amondi, who shares his surname with Andrew Amondi, the former Shooter Great, now strength and conditioning coach for Kenya Wait. Uganda need a response they go through Ogena nice drop of the shoulder just defying the defence but brilliant turnover from Amondi who gets blown off the ball and oh huge shot coming in from Bunyani Kenya retain possession in the hands of their speeder Odongo not enough room for him to get travelling but there is potentially enough room for a Kenyan hat trick it's tight come on for Nigel Pettersson I might say Okay. Give up, please. Try to try. In. No try. Lie out five meter. Black rest. It was a lovely weave inside. And a fabulous effort. Black. For the arrival of two Ugandans. No. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. It was Wait for my whistle, okay? Thank you. Timothy Kasiga and then Aaron of Foyworth arrive yep. just in the nick of time. Green ten. Green ten. Gentlemen, <laughs> Wait. We have stuff coming on. We can't do that. Oi. Two meters. Go two meters. Okay, we had to stop. Okay, time on. Okay, ready to resume. Plenty of time for twists and turns, but Uganda needs it steer themselves safely away from the line but they're going to travel here because Kenya have the ball and they're 10 metres out Amondi gets enveloped by the arms of Knock Timothy Kasiga but Kenya get the call on the scrum green 7 Black two. Two. Tense times for the Cranes. We're looking to better their sixth place finishes from times gone by in the Challenger. Thank you. Sixth in both Santiago and South Africa. Crouch. They need to finish in the top four across the three competitions to win an opportunity of a trip to Madrid. And Aaron Afoyworth 
jumps the gun and his opposite number, Samuel Asati, takes Kenya to within a meter. Another penalty against the Ugandans. And the scrum called. Crouch. Find. Set. Samuel Asati. Spins it out. Pick up the Kenyans. And here they go to the line, but denied quite brilliantly. Time off. TMO. Before we take this last tackle right here, please. Well, there are two groups of players celebrating, and they're all wearing different colored jerseys. Who's right? Well, that looks like. An outstanding bit of work from Festus Shiasi Safari. His grounding is good. Okay. Try. Thank you very much. Okay, the grounding's good. Have a try. Wow. Incredible composure and strength from Safari, who only made his debut at the recent Olympic qualifier in Harare. No need for the extra two points because Kenya are in full command here. 24 points to seven. On bounds, George Uro. Brian Tanger's on to relieve Antiamondi's key playmaker role. Backwards. Scrum advantage. Spirited start of Uganda. Seems a distant memory as Kenya begin to move through the gears and William Indakalu gets introduced to the action. Tanga gets tangled. Almost losing his jersey, but he battles on. Well, wow, that's cynical from Aaron Afoywa. Desperate stuff from the Ugandans who know Come on. the two pool losses okay, number nine. Nine. are going to make their journey to the quarterfinals very, very difficult indeed. It's not impossible with three groups of four, but one thing it will confirm guys, guys, guys. is Kenya into those quarterfinals. Crouch. Time on. Fine. 44 seconds remaining. Uganda will finish the match with six. And they will finish day one without a victory. And Mexico to come. Kenya looking to use the numerical advantage, looking to fashion a bit of room for Brian Kinyua. The breakdown seal. Almost, almost brilliant from Uganda and Casito. Back to the right, can you go? Kevin Wakesa, he loves this corner. It's try time again for the towering 23 year old. Three tries in Dubai, all in that corner. And further cementing of Kenya's dominance here in Dubai. Clear up, clear up.
Full time here and Kenya have defeated Uganda 29 points to seven. They're heading through to the quarterfinals.